Congratulations for you everybody welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video I am bringing you all another Primark haul because I'm not gonna lie ever since Primark has reopened honestly I have been addicted with their clothes their home stuff their like peaches everything in there I am absolutely obsessed with and yes I am bringing you the second Primark haul of this month because I did kind of spend a little bit of money after work today and I'm not going to lie, I'm very happy about it. <laughs> I think I might have spent around £42 but honestly it was so worth it because I have some amazing pieces to show you in this video but before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up. I really want to get to a like goal of 30 likes on this video so if you guys could all leave a like it would really help me out and also leave a comment if you are enjoying the video and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel because I would absolutely love to get to 4,000 subscribers so please subscribe and you guys will be able to make it happen but yeah I cannot wait to show you all what I've bought so without further ado let's go to the video just to confirm I do have a top on and like it looks as if I don't have it like, like anything on my top half because my hair is covering it but I'm wearing a lovely top from Primark actually I bought this last summer and it's really nice and I like it a lot. Also, an ambulance is going past my house again. I'm not even joking guys, every time I decide to film a video, like there's either an ambulance going past, a motorbike going past my house or my neighbours are doing work to the house at the minute as well so like I'm trying to film when they're not like drilling things into the walls so hopefully you guys will not be able to hear any drilling in the walls. But yeah. I went to Primark and I did do a bit of damage in there, I'm not going to lie to you all, but I'm very happy with my purchases. So, if you guys have recently been to Primark, you will know that they are currently s selling this gorgeous gingham set, um, £8 a piece, I just want to get it up for you all. I managed to get one for myself. I've kind of realised I picked up an 8 in the top. Oh my god. Oh, silly me. I should have realised. But anyway, yeah. I picked up this gorgeous gingham set from Primark. It was £8 for the top and £8 for the bottoms. And I got them in an 8. I thought I picked the top up in a 6. But obviously not because it says 8 in the tag and the label. But it's fine. I wanted to pick the shorts up in an 8. Only because... It was the last size in them, but I usually am a size 6 in clothing, but I'm kind of gutted. They are an 8. But anyway, I wanted to get my hands on this set ever since Primark opened. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's been trending online and everything. And £8 each for both items is really good. So yeah, um, and I really want to get some cute cords to wear like in the spring and summer time. They're going on cute picnics if you ever get away on holiday somewhere. If not, and me and Scott are planning to go with like a weekend away in August somewhere. So, like, if this fits me, I'm really hoping it does. I'm going to be wearing this like all the time. This will be in my go to summer outfit. But yeah, um, I will try this on for you guys as well because honestly, Primark clothing is really nice. And Primark have definitely upped their game with the clothing. Like, who else agrees? Like, Primark clothing is just getting. They wear better each day. I love how the sleeves kind of have like a, an elasticated like arm thing. I'm really, really, really hoping it fits me because I'm kind of annoyed and I haven't looked at the tag. I, yeah, I'm really annoyed actually, but yeah, it's really nice. And it's also got there's some frills at the bottom, like the shorts as well. So yeah, um, I'm really hoping it fits me because I really want to keep it. If not, then my sister might be able to keep it, but I. I don't really know. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Here is a lovely cord, everybody. And to be honest, I'm quite surprised it fits me, but I don't know if I suit it or not. Um, I think if I had some tan on, I would suit it more because honestly, I am so pale at the minute. Um, but it actually fits me really well on the sleeves. And, like it fits me perfectly around the waist, I still have plenty of space as well um, but yeah, it's really nice and I think I'm going to keep it um, 
Now I like this is to try it on. Hey, she wants to try it on as well, but I think I'm going to keep it. And like here are the shorts. I don't know if you guys can see the shorts on me, but um, yeah, I really like it. And if it's sixteen pounds, I think it's a really good price for what it is because like it's really good quality as well. So I think I'm definitely going to keep this pickle off because it is a really cute one to wear in the spring and summertime. And speaking of clothes, um, I did actually start. A new job at a supermarket so yeah a new job new me you know <laughs> oh my god so cringe sorry because my job is only temporary i've got to kind of wear my own kind of uniform if you know what i mean so i decided to get myself a pair of shaped and super high waist skinny black jeans only because these are really black and they'll be able to like they look like trousers and i'm really not keen on wearing trousers i have to wear like a college uniform um, like a beauty therapy uniform and we have to wear like trousers and I literally hate wearing them all the time so that's why I, I want to get a jet black jeans to kind of make it look as if I'm wearing trousers if you know what I mean I don't know if that makes sense or not but it, it makes sense in my little head you know but yeah these were £10 and I think the Primark, the Primark jeans are really affordable aren't they and they're really handy if you work in like a restaurant somewhere or like a supermarket and, and you, and you can wear jeans or something, it's really good, so yeah, and like hopefully it, it'll fit me, I've got them in a the size 6, but I'm really hoping they do fit me, because I need them for work, if not, I'll have to return them, and no bother at all, I'll be able to roll them up at the end as well, because obviously, all pairs of jeans I have ever owned are like, s super long on me, like it's really bad, and moving swiftly on, every time I go into Primark, I'm not going to lie, I do always end up in the underwear section because honestly Primark underwear is absolutely unreal at the minute like it's absolutely amazing so I decided to pick up this non padded bra like in like a, a pinky ready kind of colour and I got it in the 32A because I am part of the no boob gang I feel kind of lucky to have like small boobs because you don't like have to wear a bra in the house really and it's the best feeling ever when you don't have to wear a bra but yeah um, the last time I went to Primark, I actually bought this in like a baby pink colour and I am obsessed with it. I tried to find the matching underwear for these, like, bras, but they were all sold out so that was annoying. But next time I go to Primark, I will definitely have to look for the matching underwear because how cute it would just be with the matching underwear to go with it. And like, this bra was only £4, so I like absolute bargain. And if you think about it, lounge underwear is £50 for like, a set and you can literally buy a set from Primark for under £10, like how amazing is that? But yeah, I got this because I love the colour and they had so many other gorgeous colours. I'm sure I'll probably get all the colours every time I go into Primark, but you know, a really lovely bra and perfect for wearing in the house if, like, if you want to wear a bra and stuff. So yeah, I got that one. And then, speaking of underwear as well, I did finally find... The gorgeous lilac, what, one pound a thong, honestly. The first time I went to Primark it was sold out. This time, they're three stocked on all underwear. Like, I'm not even joking. They have piles of, like, the new underwear and stuff. And I did kind of have to hold myself back. But yeah, I was a how gorgeous is the colour. I love lilac so much. If Primark ever decide to sell a lilac bra, I will be getting that to match this but yeah it's absolutely gorgeous and for a pound you can't go wrong like i'm so comfortable as well so that's what i got from there as well and then i just head over to the pj section i'm not gonna lie i never really go in the pj section as much it's just because most of the time the pjs are sold out in my size but i did actually find this gorgeous pj top for four pounds in extra small you could buy it as a set with like a pair of shorts but the shorts were really long and i really wasn't keen on them so i just got this top but like it's like a lovely ribbed material and it's so soft like it'd be so comfortable to sleep in so yeah i got that and then i did decide to buy myself um a cute pair of floral shorts to basically match with them because the matching shorts for this were absolutely disgusting, so um, I decided to buy this cute floral pair in extra small 
and these were only three pounds as well so what a bargain again and these two will look so pretty together look at the like the color combo here how nice is that i am obsessed with it so that's what i got from there but oh my god it's so soft like i can't believe it and i will be wearing this tonight for bed guys honestly i will i actually will and then yeah, the final clothing item i got when i seen this on the mannequin i was like oh my god it looks so cool like because yeah i'm just going to show you it and then explain why i bought it basically so i decided to buy one of those like oh what are they called like the vest top kind of things and i had them in for colour and on the mannequin um yeah, the mannequin had this one on with like a pair of jeans like and it looked really cool but when I brought it home, my mum said it was too similar to my skin tone. I kind of do agree with her on that. But it looked like a gorgeous new colour in the shop. But the reason why I bought it was because like, I'd be able to make it, it look like a bodysuit. But I think the only time I'd be able to wear this is if I'm going to wear it underneath something. Or like if I fake tanned. But honestly, I do not have the effort to be fake tanning right now. But yeah, so... I bought it for one pound eighty or something, about three pounds. Wait, I bought it for some price anyway. Um, but yeah, I'll have to try it on and hopefully it looks okay with jeans. But it might, I'll show my mum and she was like key on it, so I'll have to try it on and wait and see really. But I don't know if I should keep it or not to be honest. And then the final few things I had to restock myself with from Primark are. The best cotton pads in town. The awful pads, I've got two packs for 90p each, so £1.80. And then the round pads for 50p. Honestly, guys, the, the, these cotton pads are just amazing for taking off makeup. Like, if you use the Garnier My Cell Cleansing Water and use these, it'll work a dream to take your makeup off. The Primark is probably the best place to get the beauty things from, really, to be honest. 50p for them, and 90p for them, honestly. The Primark is my saviour for cotton pads and stuff and just beauty things and all sorts. There's like PJs and underwear, really. But yeah, if you've ever tried these, try them because they're really affordable and really good. And yeah, I managed to spend a whopping £42.80. But I don't know if I'll be keeping the cord. I'll have to try it on, obviously. And, and you guys, you will already know. If I'm watching this video, if it looks like something or not, because I would have already tried it on. But yeah, so I might spend £42. But here is the end of my Primark haul. Honestly, I absolutely loved going into Primark and having a little like a shopping spree on my own. I went on my own because I finished work and like my work is near town. So like I thought I would head into Primark and I needed some work trousers anyway. So yeah, but anyway. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this Primark haul. If you have, you know what to do. And make sure to leave a like on this video. I really want to get to a goal of 30 likes because I don't know if we've been able to hit that recently because honestly, in my video, the views have been going down lately. But please make sure to leave a like if you're watching this video and leave a comment. And I will see you all in my next video.